Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about big projects. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have to develop a big project for a software company. I, ha I have never done this t type of work before. Should I go for it or should I avoid it? Can you guide me on what to do? No, I can't because I don't know you, where your skills are, and I don't know what you mean by a big project. What I can give you is what I usually do when I'm faced with, basic, this is basically what we do uh, whenever a new project comes in. This is something that on, well, it's not really time estimation, but it is, uh, it's sort of time estimation. It is, uh, it's a process. I don't really, really know what to call it, but let's just call it grooming or preparing work or assisting your stakeholders in creating a roadmap. Let's call it that. This is something that you get to do a lot, a lot, a lot, when you get to be a little bit more experienced, when you're a more senior profile and you've proven more or less to your employers or to people that you have a good understanding of, uh, of all the technical aspects to a project but you also have the ability to uh, to actually discuss business matters and so forth and this is usually not something that you well really bad stakeholders which is a different topic but I've had people that I've worked with where like they don't know anything about software development whatsoever and they talk to a junior developer about like a six month roadmap when the and ask try to f try if they want to figure out how are we going to do this thing with somebody who's like literally just learned how to implement the FISBOS algorithm and you can't really save that situation they're idiots uh, or other like they're ignorant they don't know how complicated this is but I will tell you that, in general terms, the thing that you're tr that you should consider before you do this is: Do you understand the scope? Is that if if that makes sense? So the biggest tell to that this is a bad situation for you is that you say this is a big project. I'm not saying that that is necessarily the worst thing in the world because there are many large projects, but any structured well working process of delivery is going to include some type of roadmap because if someone comes to you and says hey build me Facebook that is a big warning flag for you it's like the most unspecified most dumbest thing that you can possibly imagine because you don't actually know what are the specifics like that's just a generalized statement where this is a vision type of thing if there are no details and without details and that's the thing that we software developers really care about details because details is the difference between this takes a day this and this takes two weeks that is the difference in details and that is the thing that I would do a little bit of soul, of soul searching when you're facing the situation ask yourself do I feel like I know how to figure out what I'm actually getting myself into because it, it doesn't really matter so much if you've never done something before it's a gut feeling for you basically if there are elements that you're unsure how on how to deal with that is th these are things that you can address and you can kind of laser focus on those things and figure out okay these are things that we don't really know how to do but we can do this and this and that you like you're you're still able to work with the problem but if you feel so completely overwhelmed that you don't really know what this is thing that you're building is if you don't feel like you understand what you're gonna build then walk away from the situation definitely every single day of the week walk away because you are e either it's because you are not experienced enough to handle the situation or it is because the stakeholders that you're dealing with they don't even know themselves what it is that they're looking for and this is something that I have I've had this situation with many clients where uh, they say that they mean one thing but my experience tells me that no that's not actually what they're saying they're saying this thing here and I know how it's gonna turn out uh, I've had a lovely story the uh, well lovely is a strong word but 
I had a story from a few months back. A coworker of mine wanted me to chime in on a project that he had as a side business with a few people. And they had all these big ideas and like they wanted to build an app and they wanted to build a web presence and so forth and so forth. And he came in with like this massive specification and I said, don't do it. I, and he said, what do you mean? Like, shouldn't I take the project? Yes, you should take the, the project, but you should make it, you should build a proof of concept. And that should be the cheapest thing that you can possibly make. Because if my, because based on what you're telling me about your stakeholder, uh, if that is true, these are completely inexperienced people. They don't even know what they want. Uh, they have no budget or like any like ambition to actually see this thing through. And my guess is that uh, you will, whatever you build, will be the first and only thing that you build for them. And the the project is going to kind of fizzle out because they simply can't prioritize this thing. This is something they most likely just talked together about because they have a process that they don't they don't really like but they're not willing to invest what is required to see this thing through they're not going to drive anything and i promise you within the like a few like a week or two after you should ship the first thing you're going to see that they're going to be very excited f at first but then like they're not actually going to come back to with you to you with any feedback so we scoped it down the original specification was like massive and we made an mvp took I think the original scope had we built that from first day from the absolute first like the way that it was structured and delivered to us uh, in the way they wanted the time investment on that thing would have been months because it were it, we were talking about a fairly significant system we did the proof of concept in eight hours or six let's let's call it a weekend say 16 hours something like that and had it up and running, ready for consumption within that time period. And exactly as I said, even several months, like a few months later, the product has still not, had still not progressed from that state. And the only reason we got to that point is because was because we uh, in my in this scenario it was because I understood because I've done this sort of work before I've dealt with stakeholders of different types so I know when I'm dealing with someone who really knows their shit and really has like an ambition to see something through and I know when I'm basically going to be the person who has to be responsible for the whole thing because I'm dealing with a customer who is either not motivated to do things or doesn't know how to do things like when I have to be the person who's driving everything and this is something that you gain with experience when you work with a lot of different types of stakeholders and with several different types of projects and the same thing is going be t going to be true for you now you have to, if you don't feel as you understand what is going to be expected of you and you don't understand how to structure a process of delivery then this is something that where you are you're out of your debt that's not the end of the world for you the thing that i would suggest to you is to as i said if it's ma a matter of that we you have something that is unclear to you then you can take on the project because you can still get most of the questions and the scopes of the whole uh, the whole epic that you're going to deliver out into the open and then address the things that are unknown to you at that time because they are everybody does usually something new when they're dealing with a big project the same thing goes for me and my coworkers. I mean don't, we don't know every detail of everything if we're dealing with a big project but we know enough about uh, programming and systems development so that we know how to figure out which areas do we know how to solve and which areas are unknown to us and those unknowns are part of uh, like how we figure all of this out not you know and, we don't know everything nobody knows everything so some things you kind of know and some things you figure out but the important part is that you need to have an understanding of what are you going to make because if you don't have the experience to figure out what this big product that you're going to deliver what are you actually building if your stakeholder doesn't give you that information so that you feel that you understand what you're building and you on the other hand you don't have the experience either to get that information out from your stakeholder then walk away because then you're two inexperienced parties who have no idea how to make this happen because two, uh, you, you, one of you has to have the vision, one of you has to be the, the voice of experience within this conversation because you can't both be in the, in the dark. That's most likely going to blow up in your face. So what I want you to take away from this is that 
the one time I, like I suggest that whenever you're taking on a big project, you should really ask yourself, do I feel like I know how to figure out what I'm actually supposed to deliver? What is the scope of this thing? Because if you can't get, f get a clear specification and a roadmap going, then you don't know what you're going to build. And without that, these details, you don't know if you're up to the task or not, because it's just this, like, as I've had this happen to me many times. Frederick, can you please build me Facebook? What do you mean when you say build Facebook? It could be mean quite a lot of things. And if you can't figure that out from your stakeholder, and your stakeholder isn't more experienced and can actually give you a good, clear technical roadmap, then you're two, you're two inexperienced parties who are trying to build, build something and that's not gonna work out. You can, on the other hand, take like the second seat to someone, like if you have a more experienced developer that you can call upon who can hold these conversations and facilitate and actually make the whole product uh, roadmap with you, that person can be a lead and you can learn and shadow from and shadow that person. That is the thing that is best for your career. But if you're going to do this thing on your own and your customer isn't experienced enough to give you a good technical roadmap and you're not experienced enough to get it from them, then you should walk away because you don't actually know what you're signing up for. Have a great day.